Welcome back to the HOTS Online Training Series. In this session, we're going to take a quick look at the Ping Pong Bot. Now, the Ping Pong Bot is also available in our beginner's license, and we consider it an entry-level bot. However, unlike the Scalper Bot, it's relatively simpler to set up, and it has its own quirks. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, as usual, let's go ahead and log into the HOTS Online software. Once we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and add a ping pong bot to our to our bot selection. So we're logged in. Let's go ahead over the left hand side, click custom bots, hit the plus sign. And then what we're going to want to do is click here and scroll down and then click ping pong bot from here. Let's go ahead and give it a name. We'll just name it ping pong for now. We'll select our Bitrix accounts in this case. And then for market, let's go ahead and click this and use ADA BTC. Hit add bot and go ahead and click here. Now, one of the first things you'll notice is that unlike our other bots, there really isn't a whole lot of coins or options to choose from here. But let's go ahead and go through them regardless. The first we have obviously the bot name, then the account it's associated to, and then the market. Below that, we actually have the bot settings. So in this case, we have our coin position. Now, this is our bot and sold position, which side of the transaction our bot is currently on. So for example, if I have ADA, I want to be coin position and I want to set it to ADA, this would be in our bot position as we have the coins. If we didn't, we want to be in our sold position, in this case BTC, meaning we have BTC, we want to buy ADA. The next one is our trade amount. So we'll just leave this to 10. Now, you'll notice that's it. And there's a reason for this. Ping pong bots logic is built in. It has a set specific strategy that's applied. And what that is, is it like the scalper bot sets a target percentage in this case it's one percent but unlike the scalper bot the ping pong bot sets its buy and sell prices dynamically as the price data comes in so every hour the ping pong bot will look at the current price and reset its buy and sell values or prices now what this allows you to do is some very interesting things has let's say the the first hour hour number one the price moves down 1%. We put our buy order in. Well, hour number two comes by, we didn't exactly hit our sell order, but the price was moving slowly up. Well, what the ping pong bot will do is on the second hour, it's gonna find that new price point, And if it's greater than our fee, we're actually gonna set a higher sell point. What this allows us to do is actually follow a slowly trending up net, uh, market. So if the market's moving the price slowly up, our bot will continue to follow. Now I know what your concern would be. Well, what happens if the market moves down? Well, the same logic applies. After an hour, we'll go ahead and set a new buy and sell point. So markets don't just go straight down unless something really bad happens. So what happens is the moment the buy price moves further down below fee percentage, we're going to establish a new price. In this case, it would be kind of like a trailing stop loss, for example, but to the point where the moment the price moves back up, we'll do our sell. This allows the bot to get itself out of bad situations. Now it's important to note, the bot will bag, meaning it will hold its position if the market continues to slowly move down. Just as the ping pong bot can follow a trending up market if it's slow enough, it can also do the exact same in reverse. So you need to keep an eye on it. And that's really all there is to the ping pong bot. Every hour we check the new price, and we set a 1% buy and sell price for it. And, you know, like our scalper bot, it's a beginner. It's an entry level bot. It's designed for a specific market, in this case, a sideways market or a very slowly moving up um, trending market. And that's really it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. You can always find us in Discord where there's a lot of conversation going on. So until next time.